Hello everybody, so Rook Linton here, we're back again, and... Should I? I won't. Um, there's one quest line I'm honestly debating on if I should take or not. And... I feel like I'm going to ask people if I should or not. Okay, so first, I'm going to let this guy come towards me, because I want to show you guys something funny that happened in the previous title, too. I know you're here. Good night. More trousers. So, I'm going to get out the battle axe. I'm going to drop down. And I'm going to rush this guy. I failed. I failed that shit. I failed that shit so hard. Climb, 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 climb. Whew. Okay, that's what fucking happens when you don't do the thing right. Okay, I have 12 arrows, and I wanted to save these for something else. Oh, well, I actually did a decent amount of damage with that. I missed. That's pretty good aim, though. Except for that, what the fuck, guy? Alright, I think I have enough confidence in me now to try and take this guy down with the fire, with the Uchi, with the flame Uchi Katata. And yes, holy crap, we actually took down technically a mini boss in a sense. Really wish I didn't fuck up on the fire bombs, though. Oh, and look, there's three more there. And of course, everyone's favorite little critters. If you don't fucking hit the wall, holy shit. By everyone's favorite little critters, I mean the little assholes who don't want to get fucking caught. Too much salt already. Beginning of the episode. This game makes me so salty. I don't know why. I do know why. It's because it gets me frustrated with some things that happen that really shouldn't. Still, taking out that guy as I did was very empowering. Black fire bombs. You need to hold on to one of those. Ah, you came to me. Perfect. I don't have to worry about the other guy, and... First, we take you out. Casually whiff that. Glad you got in my way so I couldn't so I couldn't try to come past you and hurt you. I know there was another one. Hmm. Regardless, I got my two shards now. That means I'm going to be able to upgrade some stuff. Uh, I might have waited for the mimic, but I didn't want to risk not having the battle axe for the next few parts. You'll see why. And here we have another one of those pricks, except he uses a great shield. But I use an axe. And as everyone knows in Fire Emblem, axe beats spear. And shield. I am just destroying this area like this, man. I should have picked Knight forever ago. Now, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna go all the way through here, because there are a lot of items in this particular area that I need to grab. And I'm hoping to unlock the shortcut in this episode. But of course, you know, he grabbed this stuff, gets... <laughs> get... I, I don't know how to phrase this. I want to say get souls, get good, get money. Profit. So sneaky, bro. And here we have probably the weapon I'll be using for a majority of the game. Because it is way better than the standard longsword. But it, oh, no. I still fast roll. Which is a good sign, very good sign. So we have a couple of pricks in the area. I'm going to do this first, and that is run around here. Don't worry, by the way, they wouldn't dick you over with like numerous mimics. Or maybe they would, I don't know from software as well as I think I do. Eagle Knight Shield, if I remember. Ooh, actually that's a five point, but the reason is because I don't use fucking... I don't use the parry as bet. I don't. I can't use parry. Okay, I'm not good at parrying. My playstyle devolved from weapon arts, like stance, 
or the battle axe's buff, or even the freaking bow's ability to do a more powerful shot. I, I tried, I really did, guys, but honestly, pairing NPCs and pairing people are way different. And I feel like sometimes NPCs wind up are a little bit longer because they are NPCs. Oh, next weapon. I actually did run through the game basically with just that weapon at one point. Uh, let's equip the longbow again. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I remember something I need to do. Whoop! Don't think I blew anything up with that. Where was shot? And I was like, oh, what happened? I know. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna fuck him up. Meanwhile. Don't know how I quite missed that one. Oh, he's the other guy beneath me. Don't think he can reach me. Let's see this blood stain. So he drops down, and then I think he gets wrecked. Can't quite see. I actually might want to try to fight a couple of these guys. <sighs> this worked last time. I don't think it'll work this time, though. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. It's a nice amount of damage. <laughs> I wish I could shoot him through the floorboards. Breaking a couple of these things so I can properly get to fighting. Yeah, that's the problem with some of these enemies. So you're like, oh, I knew. Ah, I missed. Alright, he's been sent away. The question is, where's that other guy? Alright, got the backstab off. Times two. Each buddy should be coming back any second now. But luckily, I am too pro. And by too pro, I mean cowardly. And lucky! Despite having seven luck that seriously, if I get the great axe from these guys, I will actually be upset. <laughs> Very frustrated, too. Like, I, I can farm these things for lord knows how long, And good night, doggy. Cell key. Here is something very important. But it is only as important as a shortcut. Okay, McRolls a McRolls a lot is over there, and yes, I am only saying that because he's fat. Free rapier. Oh Jesus, he's spot. I don't want to fight. Yeah, no, I don't want to fight. I want to go for shortcuts. Does he follow me? I don't think he's following me, which is a good sign. Boop! I believe I got most of the stuff here. I don't recall there being much of anything else. Well, except for the Ring of Life, which is in the area. And that was a lot easier. Sorry, I went really quiet there. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to use up that last firebomb. We're low on Estus, low on magic, which we don't really need because, you know, only weapon arts. 
I don't think I've sat down at a bonfire yet, so that means he should still be dead. But he is not dead. Goes to show you, like, <laughs> if you do things quickly and efficiently, you can actually save up a lot of your Estus. And a lot of your time. However, I still have to go sit at a bonfire to go back and do things. Don't want to have to travel up. But with this bonfire active, and of course the shortcut, we can do some nice things now. Very nice things. Very easy things, too, I guess you could say. It really depends on your view. Don't mind me, I'm just playing a game alongside it, playing another game. Anyone here play Dead Man's Cross? It's a fun game by Squeenix. <sighs> really enjoy it. And by really enjoy it, I mean it dicks me over just as hard as Dark Souls. <laughs> but that's in the luck department. Just making sure everything's like set up properly here. Alrighty, high roll of Lothric again. Ignore him, because he's actually killed me once before. That is one guy down, which means we have to go towards the others. Come on, where's your buddy? Oh, more throwing knives. I'll be able to show that off in a bit. Thank you. I actually forgot to mention, uh, throwing knives have stats on them. You can actually do more damage by using a throwing knife if you have the stats that match it. I think this is where we'll end this last episode. <laughs> last episode. Yeah, sorry guys. Only doing a let's play based on the first few minutes in Dark Souls. What, you mean that's not how you do a let's play? Well, I do my let's play my way and you can do your let's play your way. Hmm. <laughs> Until we'll settle this. Uh, I don't want to risk this. See? And stab with the ass. Let's grab some more throwing knives. There's a lot of throwing knives in this area. And boop. Mail breaker. And they do give you a lot of weapons, so you can really decide how you want your playstyle to be in this early area. And more importantly, let's meet our first NPC that we actually have to find. This is, an, this is one of the new mechanics that they brought in, which I would have loved to see alongside a different one, which I'll, I'll explain as we get as we go back to Firelink. But ah. this is Grey Rat, as my sister and her boyfriend affectionately refer to him as. No, no, you're from far away. I'm judging by the bell. Gonna let him talk for a bit. You must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true. Then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord. Just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. So that what you just saw was the case of an NPC that we didn't have in Firelink in Firelink Shrine in the beginning of the game. It's a new mechanic and I really do like it because it gives an element of you have to search and really look for things now. You have to look for key items, unlocks, etc, etc. And that's going to play a very big part in this game. So if you go back to Firelink and you double back all the way over here, you'll see old Grey Rat right here. And he is a merchant. Oh, heaven in one piece. Whatever trinket just don't ask me where I'm... I didn't realize that he pronounced his name as Grey Rat, too. So what he sells is a lot of weapons that you won't see. Um, a couple of and a couple of them sell right off the bat. 
Which is a good and a bad thing. I'm actually buying a set from him right now because of the fact that I would very much like to use it. He also sells the Buckler, which you'll see a lot in PvP. And I think I'll buy the Thief Mask as well, for just in case. <laughs> so, you're probably wondering, why did you buy a mace and a spear? Well, I wanted to have basically my weapon tree rounded. We have the katana, the thrusting sword, the standard swords, and a dagger. Not to mention an axe, a hammer, and a spear. The hammer and the axe are probably the weapons I'll be switching between the most for this Let's Play at times. I will also be using the broadsword, and maybe if I can get some a little bit of help, I might get, I might have someone uh, trade some items to me. Maybe have my brother recruit my brother. But I think this is a good spot to end. In the next episode, we'll probably be fighting the main, the area boss within the first, the area boss within the first area, the first area boss, and the real true first boss of the game. I will be having help, but maybe not the kind you expect. And of course, I'm going to change up my armor set just a touch. I'm going to see how it looks first, completed, because I've never worn the full set at once. Not too bad. Uh, I prefer the Knight's Helm and this, but I will keep on this. Because I do love these pants. These pants were a staple of a lot of my characters in Dark Souls. Plus, that lighter equipment load really helps. Let's drop this down enough, and I can probably have maybe the spear. I'll figure out what to do. Oh, but before we end the episode, let me go... Yes, so... Can I infuse anything right now? Okay, I was going to make that raw and explain some things, but for now, we will just upgrade that. And the weapon I'll be upgrading is... the mace. Because the mace is a real main weapon in this game. But again, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next episode, and until then, laters. I will